Hi everyone, you are watching Blackboard and welcome to our lab practical series. In this video, we'll be discussing the protocol of bacteriophage purification experiment. So we got the positive spot test. It means that there is the presence of phage against the host bacterium. Next, we used double agar overlay method to test the plaque formation ability for the phages. Today, we are going to purify the plaques for the determination of phage titer. So let's start the process. Take 1 ml 1x LB broth in Eppendorf tubes. 1 Eppendorf for 1 phage. Here, we are purifying 2 phages, so we got 2 Eppendorfs. Next, pick an isolated plaque with the help of a decontaminated wire loop. And mix this plaque in the LB broth. Heat the wire loop on Bunsen burner and mix the plaque well with LB broth with the help of heated wire loop. Now, we have to filter this suspension with a 0.22 micron meter syringe filter. For that, take two new Eppendorfs, label them appropriately, and take the syringe. And fill that syringe up with phage suspension, means black plus LB broth. Filter this suspension into a newly labeled Eppendorf. It's better to use a wet syringe filter so you can pass LB broth from the filter before filtering the suspension. This step is not shown here. Use new syringe and new syringe filter for each different phage suspension. Next, we have to make serial dilutions for this purified phage suspension. 5 to 7 dilutions are to be prepared for each phage. Take Eppendorf tubes, add 900 microliters 1x LB broth in each. Take 100 microliter purified phage suspension and add in the first Eppendorf. Mix well Take 100 ml solution from this Eppendorf and add in the next one. Mix well and continue the process till the last tube. From the last tube, discard 100 ml solution. And this is how you are done with your serial dilutions. Next, add 100 microliters of 4 to 6 hour grown bacterial suspension in these dilutions. Mix well. and incubate these Eppendorf tubes at 37 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. For this step, we have used the hot plate. You can also use an incubator with the desired temperature. If you are optimizing your protocol and have no prior experience with the phages, you can use all the dilutions for further experiments and then choose the one with the best results. Here, we have chosen four dilutions 
two for each phage according to our protocol. Meanwhile, take LB plates according to the number of dilutions you are going to use. Label them accurately. Here we got the incubated dilutions of the purified phage suspension. Put them over the labeled plates to avoid any cross contamination or mislabeling. Pour all the dilutions onto separate LB agar plates and spread with the help of 4 ml poured semi solid agar by rotating the plate 8 to 10 times. Allow the plates to cool at room temperature until the top agar is solidified. These plates are then kept in incubator at 37 degrees Celsius for overnight incubation. The next day you will get clear zones of plaques appeared in the bacterial lawn. Continue this purification process 4 to 5 times and then the final purified suspension will be used for tighter determination. If you want to know more about titer determination or sport test, please write in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe our channel for more experiment related videos. Thank you.